not know it, but Seattle Southside is a culinary destination for diehard foodies. Just one click on the Visitor Center website and you'll find the plate is full when it comes to delicious spots in SeaTac, Tukwila, and Des Moines. It's not just food. Many restaurants in Seattle Southside serve up an experience. Case in point, Copper Leaf at the luxurious Cedarbrook Lodge in SeaTac. Time and time again, people tell me, unbelievable, I've never known this place is here. Executive chef Adam Stevenson doesn't just create wow, fine dining dishes, he creates works of art. Chilled tomato, gazpacho, and voila. But it is what's outside that really blows the guests away, the chef's garden. Different onions, we've also got artichokes, and then there's some beets. It's a great conversation piece as guests come by. They're asking what we're doing with it for that night. You know, what's our inspiration? So along with our chef's garden, we also have our own bees, beehive for producing honey and for pollination of the insectary, which we plant every year. Another restaurant creating a buzz in Seattle's south side is the new kid on the block, Maddie's Steakhouse in Des Moines. It's fine dining without the intimidation. We all live here, the owner's always here. We know people's names. I mean, it's just, it's fun. <laughs> and their signature dish is one of the best things we've ever tasted. At the Steak Madison, it's um, a really nice cooked um, steak with a cream sauce sitting on a bed of um, spinach with uh, lobster medallions over the top. Comes with a garlic Yukon gold mashed potatoes. Melts in your mouth, it's like butter. Come for the food experience alone, it's, it's fantastic. Everything on the menu is great. But when it comes to a true experience for your taste buds, Seattle Chocolates in Tukwila is the sweetest spot. You can tour, taste, and take in every ounce of this long-standing company. Let me take you around here. CEO Gene Thompson yeah. is a full-blown chocoholic and showed me the ropes. Man, it is loud in here in your factory. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the reality of what the magic of behind chocolate is, really sounds like. So tell me exactly what's going on right here. So what we have here is the line where we make our, um, our twist wrap truffles for the Seattle chocolate line. This is the only factory I have ever been in where I want to get on the floor and eat some of the crumbs. Here you go, Green. No, can't. You guys have a real tasting room, right? Yes. Let's Why go. don't we do that? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> So here we are in the tasting room where we don't have to eat off the floor. I kind of like the floor though, <laughs> but, but here it looks way better. What's this one right here? I'm kind of eyeballing this one. That one is our brand new strawberry shortcake summer bar. Can I try this? Oh yes, it? please, please try it. Um, so this is with white chocolate instead of the typical strawberries are dipped in dark chocolate. If people are like hanging out here on the south side, this is like a wonderful spot to come and check out, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's very hard to see things being manufactured in Washington state. I mean, there's just not that many people manufacturing here anymore or even in the United States in general. So I think people love to see how things are made. So it's nice that it's really close to the airport and you can come here and you can see a confection being made and taste it and learn a little something about it. Okay, I'm gonna have the shortcake again. <laughs> you guys got a sweet business here. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank mm. you.